What is up everybody? So welcome to the latest installment of my Avid Thrift videos. Uh, this is part of my Saturday Thrift Finds. Here we are at a new store, Liberty Thrift. Never been here before. Let's check it out. So the first thing I noticed here, outside they had plants. You know, most of the time when you go to these thrift shops, there's nothing really outside. Everything is inside the store, but outside of this store, they had vegetables, they had some tomatoes, basil. Um, I've been growing a little garden outside of my apartment. You know, I, I have some land there where I could like plant some stuff on there. And I've been planting flowers and green onions. And I got some tomato plants at Walmart uh, a few weeks back. And I saw some planters here, 50 cents a pop. And I'm like, you know what? Let me Let me pick up like four of these. So I, I paid it inside and I picked it up towards the end of the day. Hopefully it grows before the summer's over. Uh, but I mean, that was pretty cool. So upon entering, you're gonna notice uh, they had um, arts and craft supplies. Now it is a thrift shop, but it looks like they get a lot of items donated to them, especially craft items. Um, when you walk in here and it, it's a pretty big store. Now, for those of you wondering, just like me at first, well, what's Liberty Thrift? Who are they? What are they about, right? So I got some information. So Liberty Thrift has about seven locations in Pennsylvania. They, now when you see the ministries, it looks like they're a Catholic, Christian uh, group. It doesn't, I didn't feel like any religion was forced upon me. When I was in there, I didn't see crosses and bible scriptures on the walls so I, I didn't feel that way and what they do is their mission statement is to help people that are incarcerated they people that were just released from prison and they give them like a place to live they give them opportunities to work that's really the number one issue with people that are incarcerated and they get released from prison they did their time they get released now nobody people really don't want to hire these folks so at least it gives them an opportunity to tickle their way back into the workforce and and get a job and un, un, you know get into the groove of things right so i think that's a really good mission statement overall uh now pawn checking here they've got a bunch of items so first i noticed some of these home goods here they were brand new sealed but they really didn't have a brand so i checked them on ebay they had no resale value on there um didn't have much of a demand and I, I saw that for most of the items on this shelf these are just items that were donated from maybe like a discount store that it didn't sell maybe because it just it's not a name brand so there's no demand for it so yeah this section you know I, I didn't find anything there but if you're looking for like little cheap gifts to give to people it's not bad it's like a journal holder not is it vintage just so you know if it's got a facebook and instagram it's not vintage. so now we pass through they have a lot they have a lot of sections here for home goods they have a lot of cups plates glasses some of them are were brand new and some of these were uh thrifted items items that people donated now they have a they had a lot of furniture here um you know, I don't really list stuff on eBay for furniture, but this is not a bad idea if you're somebody that take, buys furniture and you modify it and you put it on Facebook Marketplace. It's a good idea. The prices didn't seem absurd. We notice over here, they've got uh, picture frames, a lot of paintings, which is pretty interesting, pretty neat. Did you find any picture frames in there or no? My, yeah, my wife got a, a few picture frames here uh, and portraits and stuff. So she she enjoyed it. Now, everybody knows I'm looking for the electronic section. And that's going to be at the very, very end. This store, I would say, is, has it's 70% clothing and maybe 5% electronics. And when I say electronics, I'm bundling home appliances uh, in there as well. It wasn't a pretty big section. Notice here they had, I've noticed that some of these kick pans, like I saw a guitar, 
Cake Pan. Um, some of the folks say that these items move on eBay, but it has to be a specialty item. Uh, but the, the, some, most of these are items that you, you know, if you have like a flea market booth or, you know, you do garage sales and you just need inventory to, to sell through, it wouldn't be bad to pick up items here. And I'm just checking on eBay to see if these uh, guitar items uh, sell. There were some on eBay. Um, s not many sales. The ones that sell are the ones that have a full... Um, it's like a 360 cake pan where it'll mold it from all angles. So it'll give you the fake strings, I guess, uh, when you bake it. So noticing over here, just more and more home goods. Lots of home goods. So here we are. This is the uh, electronic section. So they have, uh, they, there were printers. There were coffee mug heaters. There were scanners. They had clocks in integrated with the electronic sections. So I guess a clock can be electronic because you put a battery in it. Um, they had VCRs. But actually, no, I'm lying. There weren't any VCRs. Uh, but there were a lot of DVD players. For me, I, I don't really pick up DVD players because there's not much of a demand for them um, for the price point. I did notice they had these uh, Ronco um, rotisserie ovens. You know, I don't know if many of you remember back in the day, like in the 90s, there was this uh, brand that was called Ronco. They would do TV infomercials and they would sell these rotisserie chicken makers. Um, and he, he would have like 20 rotisserie makers on the set and he would be making 20 chickens and showing how easy it would be. Um, they had about two of these um, and they, they were priced really well. And, and some of these items do go well on eBay. Um, but I noticed that some of these needed, they were clean, but they needed more cleaning. Um, and I just did, don't have the time, you know, for, for me to actually go in and scrub clean these units to make a few bucks is not really worth it. Uh, so I passed on that. Uh, there was uh, calculators. There were bulbs. We go on to the other side. There were heating irons. There, you know, a little bunch of little knickknacks and stuff that you may need for the home. But it's not bad because if you move into a new apartment or a new home and you need some of these items, you can find it here. There was a soda stream up there. Um, the thing with me with SodaStream is if you're in the market for a SodaStream, maybe look on Facebook Marketplace because sometimes you can get, uh, I got my SodaStream on, on Facebook Marketplace. I got it, you know, that same model there with like, a, a tank of gas, two bottles of, uh, the syrups, the sample syrups and three empty bottles for 40 bucks. That for me was a steal. Um, you know, they have coffee makers food processors, which again, you know, those you can get cheap at Walmart. And again, this is a, another Ronco. It's a Showtime uh, by Ronco. And I was looking at it, but it just really didn't make much sense to me to buy it. But they were moving and they had them on eBay. This one actually had like the VHS cassette uh, instruction manual, it had the manual, it had everything with it, you know, I, I, I was ready to get it, but I passed on it. A uh, little wire knickknacks, if you need it. Walking by, we noticed uh, they had like sports equipment, you know, like uh, lacrosse, uh, sports gear. Not sure how that's... I've never played lacrosse. Don't know how that game works. But, you know, that, that may have a resale value. Uh, one thing that stood out to me over here was they had a... Um, it was like a... A rescue ladder. So, this reminded me of an item that I saw in Shark Tank. That they released an updated version of this. That it was much easier... Uh, the investors never made a investment on it. I thought it was cool. This was the older model. So this is just chains and bars. And this is like, if you live like in a second floor of a house and there's a fire, 
the problem is with these, realistically, if they're smoking the house, you're, you're not going to find this under your bed. And, you know, depending on how bad it is, it's not practical for most people. And the, the, they were on eBay, but there was just not much demand for it on these. I think, I don't know if there's, God forbid, a fire. Just storm out of your room and run out of the house, you know. I don't care if I get a little burn. I'd rather get a little burn than turn to toast. Um, notice here, more little home good items. Not much. I mean, honestly, for this, I mean, it's, an, it, it's a nice little store. There were, there was a, a wide variety of many things. It's just not a location where I found anything that I could resell on eBay. Um, there were a lot of these vintage items here as well. I did pick up this uh, coupon holder. I got that from my mom. It was 50 cents. It was sealed. She's, she's the type of person at ShopRite that, uh, or the supermarket that always has a bunch of coupons with her. So I got that for her. But, yeah, I mean, maybe... I'll definitely hit up this place again. Maybe I get lucky another time that I come in. Um, another thing I noticed too is that they have like a rewards program. So when you go there, first maybe go to the the, the shopping, the, the checkout area, and you can text a specific number, sign up, and it's almost like a five stars uh, rewards program where for every dollar, every $10 you spend, you get like a point. So th those points add up. Um, between my wife and I this day, we had accumulated enough points for a $5 gift certificate for the next time we come in. So that was pretty neat. Um, but overall, I mean, and also my wife found a bunch of clothes. We found a, a Disney vintage pajama set. Um, and these seem to be, these seem to have a pretty good resale value on eBay, um, so we, we picked that up, so we're going to list it. But overall, it's, an, it's a nice visit here. Um, we enjoyed it. I know this is not as exciting as the other videos that I've posted on uh, YouTube, but uh, there's more videos to come. I'm doing uploads every day uh, for the next few weeks, if I can. Uh, please subscribe, smash the like button, comment below, interact. And until next time, peace.